Hi, thanks for visiting Phil Sharp Homes. I'm Phil and this video is about purchasing a fixer-upper using a VA loan. Uh, in recent times the VA has become much more stringent uh, when it comes to, to financing homes that are in need of repairs. And their underlying motive is protecting service members. Uh, a lot of people are under the belief that it's because of the economy and all the foreclosures and the VA doesn't want to get stuck uh, with a fixer upper house. But, but really the motivation is to protect soldiers. They feel that, that as a service member you are uh, not necessarily qualified as a contractor, as a remodeler, so on and so forth. And there have been problems in the past with folks buying fixers. Uh, and feeling that uh, that maybe they were more skilled than they thought they were, and sometimes I go out and look at them, and I could, I've seen some real wrecks that uh, that people have gotten into trying to fix up their homes. Um, the way that this is dealt with, uh, well, from the, from the get go, listings uh, will typically contain verbiage that states what kind of financing the listing agent thinks the home will will be approved for and the bare minimum is cash and we do see listings quite frequently uh, that will say cash or cash and conventional and um, conventional uh, although uh, you, you would think this might mean something different conventional means a local loan from a local bank um, not a traditional mortgage uh, it goes on from there you may see FHA which is uh, the FHA does provide some some rehabilitation or some fix-up loans um, and then, of course, VA. Uh, and the VA is probably the most restrictive when it comes to fixers. Uh, I've had uh, VA appraisers, and the VA appraiser is the person who's been empowered to go out and make the determination as to, as to whether or not a home is too much of a fixer or whether or not it needs repairs before closing. And, of course, uh, there is a small issue with that in that, that appraisers are not contractors. Um, but they have been empowered to look, use their eyes, and use their best judgment. Um, in most cases that works out okay. I have occasionally had appraisals come back where the appraiser wanted paint uh, because there was exposed wood that needed paint over it or carpets that were so badly stained uh, that you wouldn't reasonably want to live on them and therefore the appraiser called for carpets to be replaced. And the problem with that obviously, especially if we're looking at a foreclosure, is you don't want to put money into the property before you own it. The bank wouldn't let you anyway, and the banks won't put money into them. Um, so it can be a real issue, and it, and it has stopped uh, some deals in their tracks, in my experience. And, and we've gotten pretty good at avoiding uh, looking at homes that won't finance under VA. But every once in a while it comes up, and of course in your searches you may find a home, looks very attractive, looks like a good price, maybe all it needs is some paint and carpet. Uh, the seller may not even consider a VA offer if they're concerned that the VA won't allow it to be financed because the seller doesn't want to take the property off the market for 30 to 45 days only to find out that you can't get a loan. Um, so uh, fixers have become kind of an issue in this market and they have become kind of difficult to buy. So if you're looking at anything more than paint and possibly carpet, uh, you really need to have your eyes wide open or you may get an unpleasant surprise that you can't close on the house and you may not find that out until after you've paid for an appraisal. Um, so there again, you, need, uh, you, you also need to rely on an experienced real estate agent who's been out there in the market, who's, who understands the market, who sells lots of houses, and who knows what will and will not uh, go VA. So, uh, thanks for watching my video. I'm Phil Sharp with Phil Sharp Homes. Uh, I hope I can be of assistance in your move. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and have a great day.